usually going against like eight eights or something different. So you actually had to sacrifice your peddler or something in order to do it. Oh, now we we even see the claws coming from uh, Phoenix. So this is the low amount of minions is what you were saying earlier like this deck doesn't run that many minions yeah, it doesn't run that many minions but then you do use the claws to deal a reasonable amount of damage to the face or at least that's what how i've seen people piloted in the uh on ladder that's nine damage <laughs> and then you have doom hammer to back it up but yeah claw could actually do a lot of clearing here he has his choice between just playing down those next turn and having three powers the following turn as well man it's really gross a lot of value I think you might want to just go damage here. And you notice he's playing Silver Ward Golem, so he's also playing a discard deck. Could be interesting. Yeah, could be Let's interesting. see if he actually gets that insane value. Maybe gets double uh, discard effects. Yeah, he he can get a value, but he just needs to use a Soul Fire. But he's probably looking for a op like a good opportunity to use that Soul Fire. Like a two cost minion as well yeah. would be sick. Then he yeah. could probably just afford to do two uh, four to face. Then he could just put it on a race. Mm -hmm. But we'll probably just see a Lightning Storm come down next turn if that yeah. ever happens. Like, I would not be, oh, ooh. P -O. I, I guess that is another mode for that card, is that you can play that for three mana, awkward. It's probably the better play too, because you get to remove the spell power. Maybe Tuscar is just the best route, because regardless of what happens, you could just kill off uh, the the two one, and then you still have the answer to the, uh, the three three. Mm-hmm. Okay, hold on, hold on for one sec. Go ahead and have fun casting this. I'm sure this will be over quite soon. Yeah. Well, you can potentially see the soul fire onto the... Uh, onto the flame tongue totem. Just to remove that extra kind of value. But he's... Oh, that's that makes a huge difference. You're probably going to play the Malchazar's in. You can potentially actually just tap first. But yeah, dropping the PO is pretty much all you need. Oh, yeah, not soul firing the flame tongue, but soul firing the uh, Tusk and treating the 3-3. Yeah, now there's a lot of value. So following up to the next turn with Defender of Argus, that's pretty disgusting. Oh, but going for the Hex into the Malchazar's Imp. I, like, I understand this reasoning too, because I prioritize that card quite high, is because Zoo can start to draw a lot with that card, but... Yeah, I guess, I guess that's reasonable. Right, What's reasonable? Oh, he uh, has the uh, Melchizedek. <laughs> well, yeah, I hear that card's really threatening, dude. Yeah, like, I've yet to see one actually go off and you know make decks go crazy. But yeah, dude, it's it's potential sick value on paper. It is disgusting. Yeah, same. Mm -hmm, that's I don't think that's worth a lightning. Star. Is there a lightning bolt or any way to actually kill that? Oh, whoa. Actually leaving up, uh, Forbidden Summoning seems good too, it fills up the board! Yeah, especially it allows you to buff up your Councilman and just keep going face. But then so, you do have a Spell yeah, Power on, on board though. Like, Spell Power is actually really, really All for the Drake, all for the Drake, all for the Drake, all for the Drake. No, it's already one to face. Well, I, I, I was kind of feeling that he needed to trade oh. with Tuscar, but it looks like the M's are going to take care of the Tuscar! Oh, no. Uh, wait. Uh, the, the question is, do you actually go facing? Oh, okay. Yes! Okay. Yes, how do you no, win no, this no, game? No, 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 because Plus two to the Tunnel Trog. Um, Lightning Bolt gives an additional one, so that's uh, oh. four attack. Uh, no, that doesn't matter. He could... Well, he can't take the sixth face. That's not a question. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that 0-4 taunt is actually pretty big, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm still looking to see if he actually has lethal. I think he might actually have... No. Maybe yeah. if he got... Spell power? No, 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 no. Oh, I mean, this it's is, a lot. This, of... this is why I said trade into the Drake. Trade into Drake. Yeah. Potentially kill him. Yeah. Like, I, I, I wouldn't I know, be surprised I, if yeah. the lock deck like this actually runs Leroy. Yeah. I, I, I know like in a, I know for a fact like that's what's the winning play, but I don't know. Like for a freaking shaman, like all the spell power is so scary. Right now. Yeah. Well, spell power has always been scary. Yeah. It's just a matter of who's playing it. They're just extra more scary. Spirit Claw, Maelstrom Portal, and Lightning Storm? Disgusting. I don't know, man. Like, if you leave a Thalnos up against the Freeze Mage, you're probably doing it wrong. <laughs> like, 
So yeah, maybe well, it's always been the same. Like any spell power, Drake is just good. It's the same with Rogue, leaving up Thalmos or yeah, leaving up Drake. Yeah, usually, Phantom oh. knives.